Welcome to the NC Spin After Spin. Additional comments from our panelists just available on our website. Rick Henderson, what do you wish you had said on the last show, but you didn't? Well, you know, we had 60 minutes worth of material that we squeezed into 30, and so that was uh, that was quite a show. I think uh, I would like to have talked a little bit more about the role of the State Board of Elections in all this structurally, because we are one of uh, less than half states that don't have an elected official who is directly in charge of, or at least responsible or accountable for the State Board of Elections. It's an appointed board. Uh, the governor makes appointments, but they're from both parties. Many states have either the Secretary of State or the Lieutenant Governor, who is the chief elections officer in the state, and that person may appoint a board to, uh, to manage the elections, to handle the operations and the like. But in this case, we don't. And it really showed this time around because uh, Karen Brinson Bell, who's the executive director, had one press availability at the Emergency Operations Center virtually during this time. And uh, a lot of people were really confused. People wondered why the votes hadn't been counted, why the results hadn't been released. And part of it was, of course, they were still accepting ballots. But it would have been useful to have someone who was a point of contact and a point of accountability. Uh, I lived in other states. I lived in Colorado, for instance, where the Secretary of State was the chief elections officer. And no matter whether it was a Democrat or a Republican, that person not only was accountable, but was very transparent and very available. And I think that that's something that we should look into because, as we all know, over the past five years, the State Board of Elections has been bounced around like a basketball as far as who was in control, what it looked like, how many people were on it, how many were on the county boards, that sort of thing. I think putting it under the administration of an elected official who's accountable and then who will be able to set up some sort of board that people can trust, and then that person can be you know, yelled at if need to be, if things <laughs> go wrong. But people know, people, no one knows who Karen Brinson Bell is other than reporters, basically. And that's not a good thing when so much of, uh, of, of their democracy is in the hands uh, of the, those five people. I, I think we have seen from looking at the national returns that there are secretaries of state who are in charge of elections. However, they're partisan also. They are, but if you saw in Georgia, for instance, the Georgia Secretary of State basically stood up to the two Republican candidates who were running for those two Senate seats and basically said, okay, we're not, I'm not going to listen to what you're talking about. We'll do a hand recount of the ballots, and then you see how you like it. I mean, basically, he was standing up to them. And I think you, you've seen situations like that in which uh, elected officials, again, can be held accountable in the way appointed ones can't be. I think the, the key point here is we don't trust much of anybody anymore. And, and that's an issue I think we ought to talk about further also. Right. Well, thanks for watching the Afterspin. We'll have more video all during the week on ncspin.com.